going on Crawtail family? It's your boy Huncho. Get ready to bring you guys another reaction video. But before we get into that video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also hit that bell so you guys always know when I'm posting new videos. Like and comment. I'm getting ready to bring you guys another video about Jack TV. Loyalty test. Shout out to Jack TV for this video. But y'all already know, I'm going to give y'all my honest opinion during and after the video. So let's just go ahead and get straight into it. Thank you guys for DMing me. I do read you guys' DMs. I just have a whole list of people that I have to get back with. I have no specific order in which I reach back out to people inquiring about a loyalty test. Just make sure that you're 100% serious when you're DMing me about a loyalty test so you're not wasting anybody's time that actually need help. But this in particular person stood out to me, so I'm about to read you guys her message. This is exactly what she said. Hey, my name is Ty. I really need you to help me catch my boyfriend cheating. I watch all your videos, so I don't need to test him. Like, I know he's cheating 100%. We can meet. I'm so serious. I live in Houston, so please text me back. And I instantly responded with, Hi Ty, can you give me a little bit of detail? She didn't respond with, So ever since COVID, me and my boyfriend and my best friend has been living together to make things easier on each other. My best friend ended up losing her job permanently because they closed down her job. So my boyfriend helped her get on at his job, and ever since, she has not been right. I found a condom in our toilet, like he was trying to flush it, but it Hold didn't on. go down. I didn't say... Automatically red flag. Automatic red flag. Y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think. What he just said. He just said that Brody just tried to flush a condom down the toilet and it wouldn't flush. And the girlfriend just found it. You get what I'm saying? Automatic red flag. Automatic red flag that she got her best friend living with her. You know, she said she's 100% sure that he is cheating with her. But let's just go ahead and get straight back to this video. Say anything because I didn't want to stir shit up without having enough proof. But I'm telling you, they are up to no good. Sorry for this long message. I can go all day, but this is not half of what I've had to deal with. I then responded with, damn, sorry to hear that. If you want to meet me, I'm available tonight around 8 or 9, whichever works for you. She then said, that works. My boyfriend and best friend will be at work, so that's perfect. I told her I'll send her the address in about an hour, and I look forward to meeting her. She said, thank you, and I said, no problem. So I went ahead, and I gathered a few people from my team, and I went out, and I met Ty. Hello. Hello? Yeah, where you at? I'm at the location, but it's a gate. I can't get in the gate. Nah, it's not a gate. I'm about to come out to the front, yeah. Okay. Just to give you a heads up, we're already filming. Okay. <laughs> what you driving? I'm not in the car anymore. I started watching. Today's video was different from any other loyalty test I've done so far, and here's why. Usually when people reach out to me, they are at least 50% unsure if their significant other is loyal to them or not. But for Ty, that's not the case at all. She says she know her boyfriend is cheating on her with her best friend, 100%. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. So this is my team or whatever. Nice to meet you. So, um, we can get straight to it. So just give me kind of a rundown of what's going on. I know that he's cheating on me, honestly. Um, I know that they're sleeping together. And she been over friendly with me too. Like, I just feel like she been real hee hee. Oh, you about to go? Like, you know, trying to make sure that I'm gonna leave. So I just, I know they're cheating. I just need to catch them. Ever since COVID hit, she lost her 24 hour fitness job. So we're all just living together, splitting the bills type of thing. Like we're roommates. He basically helped her find a job at his job, so now they kind of work the same schedule. So now when I'm home, I'm by myself. When I leave, they're together. It's just like, I don't know. So now it's like they spending more time together with yeah, each other than... Exactly. How do you cope with that? I don't. That's why I'm here. If he do pass the test, can I use the footage? For sure. A million dollar question. I think so. Because as of lately, nobody wants me to use the footage that they pass. Obviously, if you feel you don't want me to use the footage, but I just have to ask Hello. that question. Let me pause it right quick. Shorty keeps saying she 100% positive that them two are sleeping around, cheating. She just need to catch them in action. She just need to prove. I mean, this shit is crazy. Y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. I be asking y'all to comment. I need at least see 10 comments on this video right here because this shit about to be some fire. Shout out again to Jack TV for this video right here. I mean, y'all tell me what y'all ho ho what y'all think about the whole situation. I think this shit is crazy. And she seems unsure that she don't really want him to use the video footage. But I could be wrong. Let's just get back into it. 
pleasure. No, like you can use it. I'm. Um, I don't, I don't know, we gonna see. I don't, I, you can use it for sure. Okay. So for today's video, there's no need for a decoy because Ty was 100% sure that her best friend and her boyfriend were sleeping together. The only thing is she had no proof. So that's where I came in. Because Zai and Mark's schedule was pretty much aligned because he helped her get on at his job and they worked identical shifts. All that needed to be done was us to go in while they were at work and Ty was at home by herself so we can go ahead and set the cameras up. These are not the best quality cameras. I had to go find the smallest cameras because they have to sit in their positions for a very long time without either Zai or Mark seeing them. <laughs> It's Tuesday, you already know what that means. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always oh, 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 hold on. Oh. I already see some red flags in this video. Let's see if y'all can pick up on it. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Red flag to me, number one. Granted, Shorty let her move in. She her friend or whatever. But she's so comfortable that... Shorty's sitting on the countertop where they cook at, have food, you know. And then she got on this little, I guess like a sports bra, halter top type shirt. Let's go back right quick. Let's see if I can like pause it on the spot. You see what I'm saying? You see her shirt and her dude there look like he and the wife beat or whatever. He chilling at, at the crib. Maybe playing the video game, watching TV or some shit. But her friend, though, she she made it comfortable for her to walk around the house like that. Boobs hanging out halfway. You can see on the side right here. But let's just get back into it. I'm going to stop talking. Y'all tell me what y'all think down below in the comment section. Yeah, I always got you. I always got you. So, how close it is? I kind of blame the friend for this, though, because she made it comfortable for her. Yeah. You want to? Bro, he ain't gonna, he don't know I'm gonna go to the store. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know me, you know me. Of course, I got you. That's what I'm saying. I gotta go to work, though. I hate that. Y'all. What's your shift today? You see? I get off she asked me what's her shift. I wish I could go to the store for me. Let me pause it. In the beginning of the video, she said she always asking what time I get off work. Da 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 da. She just did that right there. What's your shift today? In other words, like, bitch, what time you get off work? Because I'm about to do some things with your man. That's how I feel. My opinion. Y'all comment down below. Let me know. But let's just get back into it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to push my plans to the back. I'll do it. Anything for you? What they don't know is Ty's going to the car where she's able to watch everything that goes on in the house, and both of them are being put to the test. Some chips. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't eat any. I don't know what should be. Um, what you trying to do to us? Look at this shit. Look at this. Pause. Short sure, ain't even been out, going out the crib for a second shit. Windows all open. Everything. Shorty sure, can come right back to right back to her front door and walk in. And she's sitting right on this nigga lap. Kissing and everything. Look at this. And this is supposed to be her best friend. And she just told Shorty before she walked out of that house. I love you, best friend. I love you. People use the word love out of character that's straight disrespect ain't no love there ain't no loyalty there let's just get back into it bro she already sitting on top of him bro, you i swear to god Yo, she, ain't even leave all the way yet, she, she just walked outside no, got all the windows and everything you might want to hurry up and put these that on that crazy look Already? Get the fuck out. This motherfucker owe her lap. Oh, hell no. Just save me. Just save me. They about to go to the room. Hell no. My nigga not finna be going to the room. We can, like, we can go. Come we, on. We, we, we finna to. go. They just pissed me off. 
You know, and they in her bedroom. Is it me or did they not waste no time at all? This nigga taking his shirt out there in her bed. In her bedroom. Look at this shit. Mm -hmm. They ain't waste no time. Are you kidding me right now? Let me now? pause it. You... Let me pause it real quick. Let me pause it. Yeah, I'll pause it on the juicy part. Because this shit about to get juicy. But comment down below what y'all would do in this situation right here. What would you do in this situation right here? Me, personally? Yeah, I'm coming in and I'm shooting everything. Any and everything. Y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think, man. I need at least 10 comments. At least 10. I'll be asking y'all to comment. I need y'all to comment on this. I'm bringing y'all some heat right now. Shout out again to Jack TV for this video. Y'all heard what she said? I love you. I didn't try to hurt you. Bitch, you meant to hurt her. You don't love her. Ain't no love there. Ain't no loyalty there. And then, like I said, y'all, look. I kind of blame the, the actual girlfriend, Shorty, right here for this situation because her, her boyfriend, you know, he's weak-minded. He's a dog. And you allowing your so-called best friend to walk around the crib like this, you know, halter top shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, Come on. She look like one of them girls that do shit for the Instagram and shit. Like, I'm just being real. Let's just get back to this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think down low. That wasn't even the case, like, Cause your ass gotta go. It ain't even like that. I don't even understand why you would. You went my mother. I'm sorry. Cut it within your room. Y'all been having issues. That's weird as fuck. I love it. I'm sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. Ain't no love there. She keeps saying she loved this girl. She loved this girl. She wanna be in the bed with her damn dude. Yo, I, I, I can't stop talking about this. She keeps saying, I love you. I love you. If she loved this girl for one. So this how if I was this girl right here and this was my friend, right? And she's saying she loved me. If you love me, you would love me enough to respect my relationship. For one, you wouldn't be walking around my crib dressed like that. If I was this girl, you get what I'm saying? I'm putting myself in this in this girl right here. I'm putting myself in her shoes. If you love me, this girl right here, she keep using the L word. If you love me, you wouldn't be walking around my crib dressed like this. You know, in front of my my man you get what i'm saying and i'm speaking as if i was this girl you know that's disrespect that's disrespect now i can understand you know we was out at a party or was going out or something like that i understand you know you got dressed up whatever whatever you know we out you like, you single you trying to mingle you get what i'm saying but you in my crib like this you in my crib like this and like I say, I blame her for this because with this being your house, you should have put that rule into place. Comment down below and let me know if I'm wrong for what I'm saying. This is my opinion. Let's just get back into this video. Oh, oh, oh I'm a, let me pause it one more time. She said, that's why motherfuckers don't want you in their house. So she already knew. Some shit like this could possibly happen because motherfuckers don't want this girl in their crib. Motherfuckers don't want this girl in their crib. Probably because of this situation right here. And she was already already aware of this and still allowed this girl, so-called best friend, to move in the crib with her and her boyfriend. That's fucked up. Let's just get back into it. it Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. One more time. <laughs> One more time. Shorty says she only paid $300. $300. 
three hundred dollars. You know how much money I would be saving if I had a friend to be like, if I was down on my luck, and if I had a friend or I moved back in with my parents or something, and I was only paying three hundred dollars a month, I would be saving as much money as I could because I'm only kicking out three hundred dollars. And I know I don't see no damn Mercedes in the background. I know I do not see no Mercedes in the background. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me, let me. Fuck. Let's just play the video right quick. I'm going to pause it on that Mercedes. <laughs> Boom. Boom. I told you, this shorty right here, she be stunting for the ground. She paid $300 a month. She's sleeping with her best friend, man. She's driving a fucking Mercedes, y'all. And she can't even afford her own place. She can't afford her own place, but got the nerve to be driving a fucking Mercedes. This girl priorities is all over the place. Her priorities all over the place. Yeah. Let's just get back to the video, man. Y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think. Because this right here is a banger. I need to know what y'all think. Because this shit right here is crazy. Oh, weird. Not though. too much. Man, no, not too not much. Too much. Move the fuck around. Who the fuck this nigga? What the fuck this nigga? Guys, I tried to upload this clip several times. I keep getting yellow mark for it. I know it's this clip. It's very inappropriate. But basically, Ty went in there. I'm gonna drink some coke to this shit. Ass, as she should. But when she calmed down, I was able to talk to her. Do you mind if I use the footage? You wanna film my fucking this? This shit hurt me right Hold now. On. You wanna put this shit out? One more time. <laughs> Shorty in the beginning of the video said he can use this footage. I heard it clear as day. Y'all heard it clear as day. Now she don't want the video out there. But you allow these people into your business stuff. You allow Jack TV to come give you more proof that you need it. And now you don't want him to put the video footage out there when you knew he would video uh, recording everything. I understand she hurt and everything, but you reached out to him for this. And he produced so, yeah, let's just get back into this video. Evidently, you know, you allow him to put this video out there because now I got the video and more people are going to see the video as well. Y'all comment down below. I mean, can I use the footage? For sure. Can I see use what the I'm footage? saying? For sure. You That's said you was going to help me figure out what the fuck going on. You didn't say you gon' that's embarrassing. Now, that's my best friend. I get that that's embarrassing, but we talked about that before, so that's why I'm just reiterating and ask you to make sure. Uh, do you want me to post it? <laughs> that's crazy as hell. I'm I'm doing all of this shit. You're weird, they're weird, everybody. Oh so you Hold on, y'all. So now he weird because she asked for all of this. Now, come on now. Shorty acting weird now. Is this whole thing a fucking setup? I kind of feel like a setup now. Nah, I already know what it is. She, she hurt, y'all, because she got the proof that she asked for. She was hoping on nothing there, but, hey, we see that it is something there. The world see that it is something there now. You allowed this man into your business, so now he's weird for that. Y'all comment down below. Let's get back into the video. I ain't pausing it no more. I'm gonna let it finish playing through. You wanna, you wanna film this shit? Can I use the footage? For sure. Wait, let's not this do that. No, wait, wait. Let's not do that. You reached out to me. You asked me to do all this. I took my time out and I did everything. I did, I did everything that you wanted me to do. You feel what I'm saying? So like, I don't understand. Don't, don't blame me for what happened. I just helped you. Cause without me, you wouldn't have known that this was going on. Okay, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think that shit was gonna happen, so I don't know. Yeah, so because you didn't think that was gonna happen, you can't turn the finger and point it at me. I was just helping. 
Now, I was asking you out of, out, of, out of respect, do you want me to post it? I talked to you earlier on, you know what I'm saying? You can use it. I'm, I don't, I don't know. We're going to see. I don't, I, you can use it for sure. I didn't think it would give this. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Do you understand that? Yeah. This is very embarrassing. Would you post that for you if this happened to you? No. This is exactly uh, why I sit there. When she asked him that question, he said no. I agree with him because, for one, I'm not, I'm not allowing nobody into my personal life, into my business, period. Especially not with no cameras where it can be out there to the public. So I agree with him on this. But she reached out to him and wanted his help because this is what he do. So let's just get back to the video. And I asked him if he passed or if he fell, do you want me to use the footage? Now listen, you guys, I always respect people's wishes. But if you tell me something in the beginning, don't tell me something different in the end. Facts. Because that's where I just, I don't like that. We're going to communicate that. If she would have told me, like, come on, bro. Being in the situation, that shit feel way different. Like, I get what you're saying. You're trying to post it. But that shit really hurts. Nah, most, like, I understand. I know you're emotional right now, but I don't want you to say anything out of emotions and basically, like, just think about it. Because we had this conversation before we actually did the test, and you was agreeing to put it out. I just asked you again because you was upset, so. I'm, you're right. But I'm I, sorry, I, whatever you want to do, did. whatever you want to do is, 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 is up to you. That's fine. You want to put out that them motherfuckers is, is some dirty ass? Go go for it at this point. I don't even care anymore. I guess. So where do you go from here? From here, them motherfuckers getting the fuck up out of my house. I'm looking for my roommates at this point. I'm single. That's basically it in this video right here, y'all. Y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. How would you handle this situation? Shorty say in the beginning she was 100% positive that they was cheating. You know, she got what she wanted. And now she's upset. And she didn't want him to post the video. Shout out again to Jack TV for this video. Make sure y'all comment down below. Go show Jack TV some love and some support. We're on our way to 200 subscribers. Until the next video, I'll catch y'all.